What's up guys, welcome back to another video. We gotta talk about Solano here because this coin is going out of control, okay? So it's doing amazing, but you do have a slight little pullback recently in the past few hours. Now the charts I have are on an hour by hour basis because I feel like technical analysis this way is way easier to play. But of course we'll be going through the price predictions, what's gonna happen to Solano in the near future, like 24 or 40 hours later, what's gonna happen the next week, two weeks, and some news that just came out because apparently a lot of the articles recently coming out about Solano seems pretty bullish. And if you look at the technical analysis here, Solano is somewhat of an easy coin to play, but it's not super easy. There's still a lot of difficulties in the technical analysis and the overall TA is a little bit messy here compared to like BTC and Ethereum, which you could easily see what's gonna happen next within like the next couple of days or next couple of weeks. Okay, so let's go through some of the news, guys. Okay, so we do have this cryptocurrency surging 400%. And now Solano is the world's sixth biggest coin out there. It's coming up. Okay, a lot of investors are going in. You clearly see the growth. Just last month, it was only at about $26, $30. Now it's at $186. And we're getting some pretty insane price targets for Solano. And we also have Solano. It's somewhat trying to be like Ethereum here. A lot of times when the ETH surges up, Solano surges up even more. And recently we have been seeing Solano moving on its own, even though the rest of the crypto markets is slightly down, Solano is usually the one that tries to go up as fast as possible. And we also have been seeing some really crazy price targets, including a $500 sole price target. And some people even say this is a pretty conservative price target. Now, if it really does hit $500, you're looking at a really big gain of money, large sums of cash. 3Xing your cash is pretty sweet right here. Now, if you look at Solano at the current moment, you do have a lot of major volume spikes. And before that, you do have very, very low volume. So if you look at Solano back then, okay, we're looking at around early September, like September 1st to September 3rd, you do have some volatility around this region with higher candlesticks. But when you do see the stabilization at $141, you do have the volume going down. Now, this actually indicates that Solano, at the very least, most investors understand the price is worth at $141. Because when you consolidate for about a week at a same as that price after surging all the way up it seems pretty normal you do have consolidation right here a little bit right here and some right here and you always have these massive surges right after these major consolidations which we see all the time for solano now if you also go into the volatility spikes in the past few days you do see what i'm talking about you have huge investors going in for example when solano did drop from 183 down to 150, you do have a massive amount of volume. That hour, we saw volume out almost at 300,000. That peaked it all the way up. In fact, Solano did drop to 131 before rebounding back up to 178. It's a very volatile coin. So you could clearly see that, yes, there's a lot of amount of sellers that want to just sell their coins and get out, grab their profits. But at the same time, there's so many big investors out there that are waiting on the sidelines trying to cop more of these coins. And then you do have the price slowly going down again. That's a little bit normal. You do have a downward consolidation shape and you do have a much lower volume. Now, when you see a massive decrease in volume and smaller candlesticks, even though it's going downhill, it's generally a pretty good sign. Even though I get it, it went from like, you know, 189 down to like 156, it's pretty painful. But hey, it did go from like 20, 30 bucks to like a triple digit number. That's pretty fortunate. And you do have a surge in volume. Now there's two types of surges in volume. When the volume surges up and the price of the coin goes down, we got a problem here. But if it surges up in volume and the coin's price goes up, then we got a really good problem because now you have a lot more volatility, but the volatility is making the coin go up in value. And then you have a few hours of consolidation right here, which have a decrease in volume. But right now you do have some pretty red candlesticks. When you play this coin, you're gonna have to play it long-term here because you're gonna be facing a lot of volatility. This is why if you don't really like this volatility or if you have like a lot of money, chances are maybe not put all of your money in one single coin. Highly diversify your crypto, you know, BTC, Ethereum, and then some Solano for speculation and long-term predictions. If you see the volume, it's all over the place. It's really hard to look at. But of course, the price has went down from around $212 down to $182. Shouldn't really be a big surprise since it does happen a lot after a pretty good surge in volume, after hitting some milestones. Generally, the price does go down just a slight bit. It's honestly pretty normal. And the higher the volume, the more volatility you're gonna get. So hitting $200, you're asking for like a $20, $30 pullback. Now, here's the thing. I don't really think Solano could hit below $152, okay? Going below 152 is absurd, and chances are it's slim to none. I mean, obviously it's not guaranteed, but if you look at what I'm talking about here, 
you do have Solano going down below 153. And guess what? A lot of buyers suddenly jump on the boat and started buying in, thus pushing the price upwards. So you see them testing the 150, 153 dollar line about three times in a row already in the past few hours of trading. So chances are, yes, it might go down, but I highly doubt it could you know stay below 150. It might go below 150, but you should be seeing another charge coming up. Now, what I want to see from Solano is simply a fang-shaped chart, which does indicate a short-term floor value for the coin. So it's going to be difficult to see if it could happen. It's really up to decide if there's any more buyers left in the market, which if you ask me, I think there is. At the current moment, Solano is going up in a really crazy exponential shape. Once again, exponential shape graphs are pretty dangerous because it usually indicates that the coin or asset has went on a really high price. There is a chance where it actually crashes. But once again, as long as you go to all-time highs and have a little pullback like this, it's honestly pretty normal. Every single time when it goes up, the higher it goes, the more vertical the line goes, you do have a much more fierce and violent pullback. And that's exactly what's happening here. But don't sweat it. I think there's still a lot of retail interest recently for Solano. And the volume recently has been extremely high. Volume here was very high as well. And so is here. And you clearly see like every few days, there's always a period of consolidation, which does happen here. And what's super interesting about Solano is sometimes the consolidation and a decrease in volume usually leads to an upwards trend in the price of the coin, which is as bullish as it gets. You can't get another technical analysis chart as bullish as this. But nevertheless, it's really up to you to decide if this is a good coin, because right now it is the sixth biggest coin in the world. And we're also getting some pretty big news out there from like Twitter. There's some leaked images and stuff like that about how they may be putting down like Ethereum, Bitcoin addresses on people's profiles so you can actually tip people. I think this might be a huge trend for the overall crypto market. If that happens, I mean, people might be tipping people with like Solano, other coins out there, Doge, etc. And once again, we got to see Solano somewhat consolidate. What I really want to see is a much lower volume and just a simple, nice and simple consolidation for the next week or two. That's honestly very beneficial and something like this, okay? A good consolidation will be very beneficial for the coin. Be careful right now. I don't really think it's wise to dump all of your money in. Obviously, pullbacks for these coins are extremely violent because you do have a very violent rally upwards. I mean, just in the past week, you do have a coin go from like 118 to 210. I mean, you're looking at like 100% gains pretty much. So if you see a really violent pullback, it most likely might happen. But nevertheless though, $500 price target. How do you guys feel about this? Comment below. Is $500 absurd or do you guys think $500 is a conservative price target? Because we're looking at if it does hit $500, it will probably be like the top five, top four biggest cryptocurrencies in the world. And it's really climbing up the ranks, okay? Crypto is getting more retail traders than ever before and the popularity is surging. See you guys later and have a good day.